match getting started. This is qualification match number 27. Our match underway. For those of you just joining us, we are running a sim championship of our infinite recharge game. Most of the elements of the game have been preserved, but there have been some slight rule tweaks and changes. For instance, there is no formal autonomous round. During that first 15 seconds, our drivers do have full control of their robots. However, point values for score power cells are still doubled, just like in the real autonomous period of infinite recharge. Additionally, when it comes to penalties and fouls, there are none. None of those normal technical fouls or minor penalties exist like you would see in infinite recharge. The main thing we are seeing though is we have split the field into a blue and red territory. Contact between robots is a potential problem. When robot contact occurs, you start seeing a ring around a robot. That ring is a timer. When that contact is maintained for five seconds, that robot is respawned and a 15 point penalty is assessed on that alliance. We started to see that ring formed with Alex G3158. And it looks like we may have lost Alex G3158. That could be due to some technical difficulties, just like in real infinite recharge. We can have those communication issues that lose contact with a robot. That does mean that it appears that for this final minute of the match, it is a 2v3 where we have the Red Alliance in the lead, but down to two robots. It looks like their third partner is back just in time as the Blue Alliance begins to close the gap. 40 seconds remaining in the match. Red Alliance lead 204 to 164. Neither Alliance able to score 90 power cells yet to get that shield generator energized bonus. Logan4476 got very close to a respawn. However, they backed off from other robots and are just fine. They're waiting in the Red Alliance rendezvous zone. They lined up with their shield generator switch. An interesting move from Logan4476. Most teams choosing to wait until even the final five seconds to get ready on that shield generator switch. But it looks like with that Red Alliance lead, Logan was comfortable to line up and get it right. All six robots making their way up in the final moments of the match. Final score incoming, this one going to the Blue Alliance in a very close result, 303 to 295. Neither Alliance able to get 90 scored power cells. This means that ultimately the Blue Alliance going home with three ranking points, two from the victory and one from making their shield generator operational. The Red Alliance, a rare match where they do not learn any ranking points. We haven't seen that much today. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.